Creating interesting page layouts and choosing the best panels is essential for creating professional level comics like your favorite creators. Think back to iconic scenes like these and these and even these. Many of these unforgettable moments in your favorite series owe their success to their iconic panel composition. Panel composition is the one thing standing between you creating a legendary moment in your story and a lackluster scene that is forgotten after a few days. That is why I want to tell you everything you need to know about creating dynamic panels in your comics, manga, and webtoon projects. But first, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is proudly brought to you by Skillshare. You may know Skillshare for their classes in photography, video editing, and illustration. But did you know that Skillshare has hundreds of career-focused classes too? Growing up, I've always wanted to find an alternative to working a 9-to-5 job. I wanted to live by my own rules, create my own work schedule, and pursue something that gave me fulfillment. If you find yourself in a similar situation, then maybe it is time to reinvent your goals and take control of your career and creative path. Traditional jobs are not one size fits all. Skillshare will teach you how to design a career to fit your interests and passions. This year, I want more financial stability. That is why I am currently taking the class Diversify Your Income, Earn Passive Income. This Skillshare curated course features several industry artists and highlights multiple different paths I can take to better monetize my business. I learned how to effectively run an online store, illustrate for merchandise, and use print-on-demand services. By taking this class, I have begun to figure out how I want to monetize my work in a way that can provide the best value for my audience and make more money in the long run. Thinking about the future can be intimidating. Let me help you take some of the pressure off by starting small. Maybe you want to learn how to be more productive in your day-to-day -day life. Maybe you want to begin building a personal brand that is able to attract real clients. Skillshare will take us step by step and help us get closer to achieving our goals. So please take this opportunity to invest in yourself. The first 500 people to use my link will get access to one of Skillshare's best offers, 30 days free and 40% off your first year of Skillshare membership. Thank you again, Skillshare, for continuing to support the creative community. Now let's get back to today's video. Panels give your comic book structure. They are the bounding boxes or frames that contain your flashy artwork, your character designs, and your action sequences. A panel usually contains a single drawing that is frozen in time. This is not always the case though. Sometimes panels contain only effects, only dialogue, or characters breaking out of their bounding box. When multiple panels are present on a single page, they are often separated by a short amount of space called the gutter. The size, shape, and style of a panel can affect the timing or pacing of your story. For example, Compare this manga page depicting a mundane scene versus this manga page of characters engaging in a fierce battle. Understanding how to create unique panels will allow you to stand out among the rest. This is because some panels work better for some story genres, themes, and art styles, while others are not as effective. There are a few important terms that I want you to be aware of before we dive too deep into the advanced stuff. A panel contains a segment of action. The gutter is the space between panels. Vertical gutters are often made thinner than horizontal gutters in order to encourage readers to group each row of panels together for easier reading. A tier is a singular row of panels on a page. And finally, a spread is a single panel that takes up an entire comic page. And a double page spread is a single panel that takes up two pages. When planning out your own comic book, it is important to keep in mind the different types of panels available to you. You should experiment with different panel layouts to see what works best for your story and your art style. Rectangular panels are the most common panels you will see in comics, manga, and webtoons. They are often used to show an establishing shot, a landscape, or a drawn-out scene. If you really wanted to, you can make an entire comic page using only rectangular panels. Vertical panels are tall and skinny panels that are often used to show simultaneous events, character reactions, or transitions. As a rule of thumb, you don't want to use more than three vertical panels in a row or your page layout will become harder to read. This is because in English, the way our eye travels across the page is like this, from top left to bottom right. With Japanese manga, our eyes move in the opposite direction, from top right to bottom left. When you create four or more vertical panels back to back, it can be hard to direct your reader's eyes. For example, this comic page here can be read like this or like this. Diagonal panels are panels set at an angle and are often used during climactic moments. They are usually used during battle scenes, scenes with movement, or big reveals. Inset panels are panels that are placed inside of other panels. These are commonly seen in shoujo manga, but have been appearing in shonen manga more often. Panel breaks or panel bleeds refer to pages where characters or objects burst out of their containment boxes. These are often used to introduce new characters, showcase a dynamic movement, or highlight an action. Lastly, irregular panels refer to individual panels that do not fall into other categories. The purpose of these panels vary. Sometimes comic artists create their own types of panels to complement their own work. 
Other times, they just want to create a unique composition that no one else has seen before. Page composition refers to how a comic artist decides to lay out their panels on a page. There is no one correct way to do it, but there are a few things to keep in mind, as well as a few formats that you can try out. Single panel comics can take the form of gag panels, short comics that are created to make readers laugh, and editorial cartoons, short comics that contain some level of social commentary. Comic strips are short comics that are often found in newspapers and magazines. While the most common strips are horizontal, these can take all different kinds of shapes. Fourcoma, or Yonkoma manga, is a type of manga consisting of four panels of equal size ordered from top to bottom. They sometimes run right to left horizontally or use a 2x2 two two panel layout. A standard comic page is used for Western comics and graphic novels. The industry standard size for Marvel and DC comic issues is 6.625 by 10.25 inches. A standard manga page is used for manga created in Japan. While magazines can vary, most manga tankabuns measure 5.04 by 7.17 inches and 5.83 by 8.27 inches. Social media comics is a newer format that takes advantage of platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and threads. Artists like Merriweather Media tell compelling stories using single panel comics that you have to swipe through to read. The most common way to lay out a comic page is to use a grid layout. With this layout, the page is divided into a series of equal sized panels like in a four coma manga or a comic strip. Staggered layouts are another type of layout where the panels are not the same size. This can be used to direct your reader's attention to a single spot and is often used in standard comic and manga pages. Finally, nonlinear layouts are an abstract approach to paneling. With this layout, panels are not the same size or evenly spaced. This can commonly be seen in vertical scroll comics on webtoons or tapas. When considering which page layout and panel type are best suited for your work, it is best to consider your story, art style, and personal preference. Shonen manga typically features page layouts with a minimal amount of panels. If you look at these pages from Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece, you will notice how there aren't that many panels. On the other hand, more dialogue-heavy stories like Death Note, Liar Game, and Monster can use more panels per page to slow down the pace of the story. Shoujo manga is famous for their unique panel layout and page composition. Just take a look at these examples on screen. No two comic series will have the exact same layout, so it is important to ask yourself why certain mangaka use the panels that they do. It is so important to study from the artists you admire. Mangaka are not machines. They have patterns and habits that we can pick up on if we pay attention. For example, in the manga Dr. Stone, Boichi loves to use this single page spread layout. In shoujo manga like Shugo Chara, Peach Pit enjoys using borderless panels like these. Every comic artist has a visual library of page layouts that best suit their story. By picking up on the panel compositions they use regularly, you can add those layouts to your own projects. Spend a few hours or a few days observing what kinds of scenes your favorite artists draw in different kinds of panels and page compositions. Learning from the masters can take a long time, but what if I told you there was a way to do it almost instantly? I recently released a new digital product called Manga Maker Templates over on Coffee. For the past week, I've spent hours reading manga series like Bleach, Naruto, One Piece, Dr. Stone, Chainsaw Man, and Jujutsu Kaisen to figure out what panel layouts their mangaka like to use the most. I compiled 100 page layouts for each of these manga series, so you don't have to. In each set, you will receive 90 single page layouts and 10 double page layouts. You will also receive the CSP and PSD file for your convenience. For a limited time, all six Manga Maker sets are available for $4.99 each. If you are interested in drawing comic pages like your favorite Japanese mangaka, then check the link in my description. One of the most important things to remember when creating a comic, manga, or webtoon is how to create good page flow. Each panel should advance the story forward, highlight a character's personality, or provide new information to the reader. Your panels should be easy to follow along without any disruptions. Too much text in one panel can be overwhelming. On the other end of the spectrum, too little text can make the panel feel empty. Finding a good balance is essential for making a comprehensive page layout. There is no right or wrong way to panel a comic, so have fun trying out different layouts and panel types until you find a style that you are satisfied with. With that being said, I hope you were able to get some value out of this video. If you did, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. Remember, you can support me by following me on all of my social media accounts, commissioning me, or purchasing one of the Manga Maker panel sets. Leave a comment down below telling us which comic, manga, or webtoon has the best panels in your opinion. I will do my best to reply to every comment. As always, keep creating everyone. I will see you all in the next one.